Hello and welcome to English for Doctors. My name is Mark Higney. Thank you for stopping by today. Today I'd like to talk about social habits um, and alcohol. This is the first in a social habits series, so thank you for showing some interest in this. Please note that this is for education and communication purposes. This is not um, medical diagnosis. We are not doctors. Uh, we are just English language professionals trying to help you with um, adjusting to working with patients in English-speaking countries. Now, a couple of things. When to ask, why asking is important, how to ask, what to ask, alcohol guidelines, how to counsel, talking about programs, and if the patient does not agree, and final thoughts. When to ask. You can ask any time during a patient encounter. Um, it could be at the beginning if the patient is uh, explaining about getting symptoms after drinking something. Uh, that's a key right there. You can group with social habits. I like to ask some questions about your social habits. Um, do you use any alcohol? It's easy to remember um, after you've asked several series of questions, for example, um, current symptoms, medical history, family history. Then you can ask the uh, social symptoms. Um, and alcohol symptoms typically are secondary to primary symptoms, not always, but um, it's still important to ask. Why asking is important. Um, alcohol could be one of the causes of the symptoms. It could be um, the major reason that the patient's not feeling well can help pinpoint a diagnosis as well. This is if you're still stumped, you're not quite sure what's going on with the patient, um, but then you can ask a question about alcohol and it might, bingo, come into place. Um, alcohol can lead to serious medical problems in the future, especially if they are um, diseases that run in a patient's family can cause um, liver problems um, as well as organ problems. Um, and if you ask, you can help the patient get on a path to better health um, and to avoid kind of, you know, difficulties in the future. How to ask. You can use a leading statement to ask. Um, I'd like to ask about alcohol use. This will help me understand your medical condition. Um, you should ask the question in a friendly way. For example, um, I'd like to know about your um, alcohol use. Um, do you use alcohol products? Let the patient answer in his or her time. Don't rush them. And after the answers, simple responses are best, such as, okay, thank you, I got it. What to ask? In addition to uh, the basic questions of um, do you use alcohol, how much do you use, you can ask cage questions to determine if they have um, an alcohol problem. Cage questions were developed as a, a psychology tool um, and a mnemonic device to remember um, to offer counseling at the end. Have you ever felt the need to cut down on your drinking? Have people annoyed you by criticizing or talking about your drinking? Have you ever felt guilty about drinking? Have you ever felt the need for a drink first thing in the morning, an eye opener? Some alcohol guidelines, they vary in uh, Western countries, but the Center for Disease Control guidelines are based on dietary guidelines for men, two drinks or less a day, for women, one drink or less a day. In the UK, the Chief Medical Officer guidelines um, suggest no more than 14 drinks a week. Of course, with um, children as well as uh, pregnant women and people with medical conditions, the uh, guidelines are much stricter uh, with the limitations, no alcohol whatsoever. How to counsel. This can be very difficult, but one of the things you can stress is alcohol can impact judgment in addition to having the health problems that you can mention. Um, you can counsel by offering moderation or reduction. 
I know you like drinking. I think it would be good for you to cut down on how much you drink. It might be hard for you, but do you think you can cut down on how much you drink? I'm concerned about how much alcohol will have an effect on you. I think it's a good idea to reduce how much you drink every day. It may have had an impact on what you are feeling these days. The patient does not agree. Continue to reiterate to talk about and mention that alcohol can have an effect on the patient in a very friendly way, non-confrontational. Offer acknowledgement. Understand that you um, enjoy alcohol, but I just need to let you know this is um, the situation. This is what can happen. Make a note in the medical file for the next doctor or if you see the patient again. Follow up in the next appointment. See if the patient has reduced alcohol or um, has thought about it, has joined a program. If possible, speak to a family member. This is difficult based on confidentiality issues, uh, but depending on your jurisdiction, the hospital policy, um, it might help um, with the patient overall. Talking about how to quit and reduce uh, mention steps to help patients cut down on drinking. Uh, one is to keep a record, to limit alcohol to a certain day or time, ask someone to help with cutting down, um, a family member, a loved one. Mention programs and support groups. Alcoholics Anonymous is a popular group in the United States. However, hospitals such as your hospital and or community-based programs can help a lot. Detox clinics are the last resort, but that might be something that you can mention. Final thoughts. Your end goal is to help your patient. Um, there is nothing else you can do other than counsel and continue to monitor your patient's health. The patient does make the choice um, and you can just give them the tools to help them make a decision. Again, being very clear in your language is very important. I know in subcultures it is difficult to talk about. That's why we've put this together, um, some easy language um, to guide you. Nothing difficult. Asking about alcohol does not hurt. Counseling about it does not hurt. The patient can make the choice. Thank you for watching. Uh, English for Doctors. This, again, is part of a series. We will focus on other social habits, tobacco, and recreational drugs. If you have any comments or suggestions, please feel free to leave that in the comment section below or contact us um, via email or social media. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Thank you again. Have a great day.